Hey everyone, how is everyone doing? God bless you all. Hi. Okay, I have a dream I want to share with you guys. And um, in this dream, I want to tell you guys um, about this dream because I, I feel like it's an end time prophetic dream. One of those dreams that we get, the end time dreams. So, God bless everyone. I just want to say God bless everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and may the Lord be with us all. Especially in the times and the hours that we are living in. Like I said, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of peace, love, and a sound mind. So I wanted to share a dream I had with you guys this weekend. Not this weekend, I had it last week. I think Monday or Tuesday. So this is a dream I had, right? In this dream, I was in my car. Same car. Same. This, this is the same car I was in. I was in my car and... Um, I had some groceries in the back and everything and I you know I pull up to my parking and I noticed there was a car in my parking so I went to go remove the car as I left my car to go remove the car with the keys stuck in the car and I was on the phone by the way I was on the phone with one of my friends and um, so as I'm in the phone I I went to go move the car because someone was in my parking right and as I'm leaving I left my car wide open with the keys in it like an idiot to remove that car so I can move my car in and um when I turn around I noticed my car was gone it was gone I was like oh my goodness my car is gone someone stole my car and they took off with it and as I'm saying this I noticed one of the girls on my um at my job her name is Venice she was there talking to me and she was like what's going on and i was like my car somebody just took my car they took off with the car and it was like okay um did they wire it I was like no my keys was still in the car because i was trying to move my car into the garage and somebody was on parking in my park and so the whole point was um she was like okay let me help you with that let's go out the outside um let's go towards the gate and see if we can catch up with your car so i'm walking towards the gate as i got through the gate I noticed the scenery of the dream was all of a sudden changing. I'm like, hold up. All of a sudden, at the gate, right? We're at the gate, and all of a sudden, I noticed, like, the scenery changed, but I'm still with the same person. She's still there with me, and, like, we, it's like I was going to fall if I, if I went towards the gate, but as I, as I look out the gate... I noticed this giant city, this big city, and in the city it says Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, and I'm looking like, okay, Tel Aviv, it was a big city, right, tall buildings and everything, and you could see, like, you, you can just see all the buildings and everything, and I'm just watching, I'm looking, and I'm like, where did this come from, and, you know, the city was called Tel Aviv, and... I knew I was in a Jerusalem city called Tel Aviv. So I noticed the buildings were super high, super tall, right? Be patient with me, guys. The buildings were super tall. And these giant statues started appearing. Two big, giant statues. It was like they, they, they just appeared like big, like huge, about the size of the building. And I was like, oh my gosh, did they just put these buildings there? I'm done the recording. I was like, did they just put these buildings there? And when I look at the, um, not the buildings, but they, they, just, they, they just put these giant statues there. And when I look at the statues, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. When I look at the statues, I noticed there was two giant, tall, bronze, golden looking men both of them were ball headed and they both looked the same and I, and then the statues started moving like the statues just started moving and I'm like oh my gosh I, this is what I said in the dream oh my goodness oh my gosh um is this like um the antichrist statue that is moving and is speaking and it's about to talk too and I was like and then she was like no watch watch and all of a sudden, it transformed into a whole human body. And there was two of them. And she was like, no, you're wrong. That's not the Antichrist statue. These are the two witnesses. I was like, the two witnesses? 
yes they are about to prophesy and I was like ah and he was like brace yourself get ready they're about to pro prophesy and as soon as she said they were about to prophesy I looked and they 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 they, they were formed as like humans now and but they were huge they were really really big and there were two of them and they look like old school Egyptian looking type of people I don't know but yeah that's what they were looking like and they were just super big super tall and they were getting ready to prophesy and then I woke up from that dream immediately I woke up from that dream and I was like oh no we're about to be in Revelation 11 the book of Revelation 11 read that book it talks about the two witness and the miraculous things they are the power that they are given no one can come against them except for the Antichrist and when he came against them he was able to kill them and they 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 were not given any you know they were not given any burial and people were walking among them and celebrating because they you know they torment them you know they could send fire or rain whatever they can stop rain fire and whatever you know the people were being oppressed by them because they were trying to preach the word of God the gospel of God to all of them you know they needed to hear these words before the big judgment comes and then Antichrist comes, he kills them. Three days later, they rose and big earthquake happened. 7,000 um, people were killed and many were, you know, received Christ afterwards. You know, they received God afterwards. But yeah, that's about, you know, read Revelation 11. That's what it was um, about. And then I had another dream, right? Let me let me just say this other dream. And I'm, this one's really quick. And I had another dream. I see myself, um, I see you know like the sirens go off like major sirens go off like it was time for us to go and everybody was being picked up by military people like like high society people were coming to get us and they told us we had to go we had to go we had to go we had to um we had to evacuate now like we had to evacuate now all of a sudden i don't even know how quick they did it but we went to some kind of cave really really quick and we got there really really fast all of a sudden i see myself in a cave like a big old cave and full of people massive people was there in this cave i don't know how i was able to get chosen to go to this cave um i don't know but they evacuated us and they put us in these giant caves and in these giant caves we started, they shut the door. When they shut the door, you saw all this, you hear all these noise on the outside, like bombs, explosions, nuke were going off. We knew that there was a nuclear explosion went off and then the building started shaking and then the rocks was falling, like tiny little rocks were falling. And we was like, is this building, I mean, is this cave even safe? Is this place even safe for us to stay in here? And then I knew, like, it was just mad chaos out there. Like, it was bad. But, yeah, that's, that's the dream I wanted to share with you guys. God bless you guys. Watching all of what's going on right now in the world, you know, Russia, um, China, balloons and all this crazy stuff. They shooting down stuff, you know. It's just the time we're living and we need to really wake up and repent and turn away from our sins because any day any time now all of this can really explode on us and where do our salvation lie where are we going if we do go like if we have to pass away from all of this because many people are dying the death is coming for so many right now we just need to be ready repent turn away from our sins no longer will we do those sins ever again when we repent we repent with a sincere heart and just give our lives to jesus give our life to god once and for all there's no time like today like right now god bless you guys god is warning us and letting us know what time we are living in and how close we are going home love you guys god bless you all have you guys i mean may you guys have a lovely wonderful sunday and um i know we're all about to watch the game <laughs> i know i'm about to watch the game <laughs> but yeah let's just go watch the game and god bless you guys shalom